Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to, believe it or not, a plant haul. Yes, I'm in a completely different location to normal. I'm not in the shop at the moment. The shop is too hot. It's very hectic. I'm shipping a load of stuff out at the minute. There's just a lot going on logistically. So I thought I'd film here. And honestly, I'm kind of happy to be filming here because I'm not too hot. My hair isn't dropping out. Everything just looks as it kind of should. It's not a permanent thing. I will still be filming in the shop so do not worry if this background just isn't quite doing it for you I do appreciate it but hey at least the plants might stand out a little bit more now then because we're not in my shop this might be a little bit chaotic I don't think I'm going to enjoy editing this and that is because I have a box of plants they need put into an outer pot so I can hold them up and show you so it's a little bit of a nightmare so without further ado I'm going to get into it so let me grab the first plant Let's see how these look on camera. This is very, very different filming in here, isn't it? So this first plant, I have had a little while. This isn't the newest plant in the world, but it's really looking great at the minute. So I really want to show you it. I'll try and push it kind of, kind of where my face is to kind of show you. Can, is there any way of showing this? Now then, this here is Philodendron Jungle Fever. And I want you to know this leaf coming in here. This is why I'm showing you it right now because I picked the perfect time. That there is not variegation. So if you like things like Philodendron Florida Ghosts and you don't mind a bit of yellow, you might like this. And I want to show you because honestly, this plant right now is in its prime. It's very, very difficult actually to show you because it's been growing under a light. So it's very, very flat. Basically, this plant grows with leaves that kind of do this. They come in with a temporary variegation and it will eventually fade down to green. But the cool thing is it does kind of stay put. Like if I show you this here, this is an older leaf. So here we have a mixture of lime green and dark green. I'll try and show that up to the camera so you can really, really see it. There's an older leaf there. There's another older leaf there, actually. Can you see that? It's all... Sorry, I'm trying to cover my face. It's all a little bit weird. And that there is the most beautiful new leaf that you could probably ever ask for, I would honestly say. Really, really beautiful plant. I don't think this is something that's going to take over your living room too fast. So if you are collecting a lot of plants and you worried about space, then this, I would say, is a good one. Yes, of course, it's going to grow large. I'm not saying it's not, but it's going to take a little while. So this is definitely something that you can kind of keep a long time. I do actually have. You're probably not going to be able to see this. I think I'm going to struggle to show you. Can you see that along the bottom of the screen there? Literally, there's an aerial root just growing along the sheath of the plant. It's, it's quite interesting, I have to say. I have had this a little while, hence it's not looking freshly shipped. It's looking pretty sexy. But I just had to show you how amazing it is because I haven't got round to showing this plant yet. And it is very, very beautiful. I can try and show the stem where the colours are coming in because it is really, really nice. You see that there along the stem? It's so beautiful, honestly. But I must reiterate, this isn't variegation as you would think of a G Monstera aurea or Florida Beauty or anything like that. It's not like that. The leaves will emerge like this and they will fade down, but you will be left with some permanent effect, you could say. Honestly, with variegated plants, I mean, the variegation costs a lot of money. Let's just be honest, it does. I do think stuff like this, if you're not crazy about yellow variegation and to be honest, you want a bit more of a budget friendly plant because I don't, I don't know how much these are as of filming this now, but I don't see them being insanely priced. I think it's a really nice way of getting something very interesting for your budget. So if you're a fan of floral a ghost, if you're a fan of, I think it's Bipenifolium aurea, if you're a fan of Philodendron snowdrift, this could be a nice one to add to your collection because it does do stuff. It's not just green, but it's not variegated. But that also means you're not going to have risk of reversion or, or anything weird like that. You are going to get something that is cool. And honestly, as this grows, you're going to get some really pretty patterns forming. So for me, I think this is quite sexy. And I, this is, I mean, look at this. I think I could get away with convincing you that this was real variegation if obviously I didn't say it wasn't. It's really beautiful. Look at that. What a beautiful plant. This is Philodendron Jungle Fever. Keep an eye out for it on the internet. I don't know how many people are selling it, but honestly, I love it. I think it's great. Really, really nice plant. So this next plant I have to show you, I'm going to put it on the table for ease of recording purposes today because I feel like this is a great way to show this plant. Let me just put it right here. This beautiful plant I have here is very new in. Now, I believe this is Anthurium CF. Is it 
papillalaminum, papillalaminum. I can't remember how you pronounce it and I don't have my phone to hand. So the name of the plant will be on the screen. But the most important thing, of course, is how it looks. And I like this plant and I can see this plant being very hardy, even though I haven't had it in long. I'll be honest with you, I've had this around about a week. Now I do have, I think I have the real papillalaminum of Anthurium and it's very dark and it's very velvety. So it is a little bit different to this one. This one is, it's not quite a glossy leaf. It's really strange. It is in the middle of being super glossy, like for example, an Anthurium vicii and velvety like, I don't know, a queen or, or something like that. It kind of is in the middle because it's not glossy. It's not velvety, but it is matte. It's kind of like a rubbery matte. Sorry, that's the noise of Lekka there, but it's really, really beautiful. This particular plant has this nice big leaf here that I will try and show you next to my head without screwing with my mic. I have this leaf here, which is also incredibly pretty. And then if I rotate, I have this leaf here. Very, very dark and nice. This is probably the best example because it is the newest leaf. It's also the largest leaf. It is a little bit lighter in color than the older ones, obviously. It, I do think it's hardened off. I just think it's a little bit newer, so it's still light in color. But how nice is this? This is really, really pretty. And I feel like this one's a very nice alternative if you want something with a bit of length, like you like, for example, a Queen Anthurium, but you just, you cannot look after them because honestly, I sympathize. I struggle at the shop all the time with my queens. If you want something reminiscent of that you could look after and it's going to be a lot easier on the humidity front, I suggest you go for this one because honestly with Anthurium, I always find if it's not a velvet type, then you are quite good with humidity. You don't need as much. You're not going to get as many problems showing. So for that reason, I want to show you this one and I really, really like it. This one's very, very beautiful. I might have to steal this one. Have you seen have you seen? It's not the prettiest plant on this list, by the way. I'm gonna leave the best for last because I have two of them. They're so pretty. Seriously, you need to see them. But realistically, for an alternative to something like a queen, yes, it's a little bit more muted, but it is very, very nice. It's not glossy. I know a lot of people don't like glossy anthuriums. They like something a bit more matte. But I reckon you could get pictures of this on Instagram. You could take a picture of it and you wouldn't necessarily know if it was velvet or not. And I quite like that. So if you're someone that's kind of on the fence about an anthurium about which way to go, velvety, not velvety. Am I gonna screw up? Is it gonna be fine? This one is quite nice. And I seriously think if you look at it flat on, that could be velvet. I don't think that it looks super glossy. And if, I mean, here I'm turning it in front of two soft boxes. I have a soft box on either side. I'm turning it in front of two soft boxes and it looks really matte and it feels really nice as well. It feels just meaty enough. Let me know what you think of this one because it's, it's a little bit of an oddball, but I actually really like it and I think it's under stated in a really, really nice way, actually. I really like that. That's really nice. So yes, this is Anthurium CF Papillilaminum, I think. This next Anthurium is a little bit difficult to hold up, but I'm going to do my best. I'm going to have to rotate it. Now, I have this down, if I can read this writing on here. This is Anthurium Insigni ver Venosum. Venosum, I think it is. Never heard of it before. Um, I guess it's a type or sport of Insigni, I'm guessing. Um, which I think I have had before. I have, I've definitely heard of it. I, I might have had it in the shop a long time ago. But if I just pull this leaf down, because it's going to be the best way to show you, this is what it looks like. Now, I do feel like they're being totally transparent with you. I feel like there's a lot of anthurium that look like this. I do think it's very nice, but I do think that you could get a lot of different types of anthurium that do look like this. I don't think personally that this is something super unique. It does have some beautiful lobes on it though. I will say that. These ears look fantastic. Given the fact that this plant is not super mature, I do think, I'm <laughs> trying to keep a hold of it. Given the fact that this plant is super mature, I think having lobes like that, you know, big floppy ears is quite a nice touch because one thing I will say about this plant is when you do want to grow anthurium big and have you know really nice lobes ears just whatever mature vibe that you want from your plant it can be a bit of a struggle and you're gonna have to wait a long time this is quite nice because it's giving you that very early on and I just think it's quite nice to have am I crazy about this because this is for the shop no I'm not Honestly, no, I'm not. But I do think it's quite nice. And it's very strong. I'll tell you that right now. This is solid as a rock. It is glossy. So it's unlike the previous one. In fact, if I hold up the previous one really quickly, you will see just how glossy this is in comparison. There, that's the previous plant. That is matte and dark. This is lime green and more glossy. 
there just so you can see the contrast. Personally, I do like my Anthurium to be a bit darker than this, but obviously when you have a collection or if you're doing a living wall or you're doing a cluster, it is nice to put different shades of color and different textures and different shapes. That's what makes, you know, everything look cool. So I like it. I'm not going to linger on it because I don't think it's insanely amazing. Just going to be honest. But I thought I'd show you it because I don't think I've had it on camera before. I think I might have had something similar, but it is very pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's very ornate. If I just get a little bit closer to the camera, that is very beautiful and very ornate. I can't lie. You know what? I do quite like that. I think <laughs> there it looks darker, slightly darker than it is in real life. That is very, very gorgeous. That is a nice plant, to be fair. The ears make it. I think the ears make it. So this was, what was it? Anthurium insigni venosum. This next plant, it looks a bit weird. And you're probably thinking, right, what is that? I, can, I feel like I can see signs of different plants in there. Well, honestly, I bought this plant as an unknown ID. So I don't really have a name for this one because I genuinely bought it just because it looked odd. And I do like to do that because honestly, I find that with anthuriums, a lot of them are very variable anyway. For example, anthurium regal. I find that that plant is super variable. And I just find sometimes that you can get an anthurium, even down to just a clarinervium or something like that, that can present a little bit different. And I kind of like that. And now when I see plants all the time and I see the same thing all the time, it's quite nice to spend the money on something that just looks a bit different. Do you know what I mean? So I'm kind of into that at the minute. So this is one of the things I picked up. And as I say, I don't know what this is. Now for me, I can kind of see a lot of um, Anthurium forgetii in this. I really can, as well as Crystallinum. Obviously, that would probably be the obvious thing that people would say that it was a cross. Now you can see this leaf here at the front. I'll try and cover my face for this. You can see this leaf at the front here looking all cool. If I move it out the way, you get a really weird round one where the vein down the center is what's starting to develop first. But this does have lobes on this one here. You just can't see. It's very clarinervium-ish. Actually, it's very, very dark. Then you have this one here where the lobes are still there and it's starting to come with ribs and it's still very round. So a little bit odd again. But by the time you get to this one, to be honest, you've lost a lot of your lobes and I don't really know what it is. It's a bit weird. Me personally, I would quite like it if it kept on doing this here. If this would continue, this would be great. But honestly, full transparency, I bought this to simply see what would happen because I thought it was quite cool. I also think it's quite dark. Let me just pull up this wonderful plant that I showed earlier. Yeah, it is quite dark. Look at that much, much different. Obviously, again, this isn't velvety, so it's probably not going to look as dark, but that is really quite nice on camera. It's coming off a beautiful color on camera right now, to be honest. It's looking really, really nice. Check that out. Oh, I've just noticed my light behind me has gone off. I have been filming all day, so I'm not blaming it. But yeah, if the plant could continue doing this, this would be amazing. I actually really love this. This is really different, but we will see how it goes with this one. As I say, it doesn't have an ID. The seller knew that it was not a, for example, crystalline with forgetti eye or anything like that. They knew it was different, but they don't know enough to call it anything. So it was sold to me kind of on the random. So I only have one, but it's, it's weird. You gotta admit it's weird. Let's just see what happens. One last show of lip plant. So we've got this one, we've got this one in the middle, and then we got this one here. Beautiful little thing though. It's a little bit freaky, but I, I kind of like it. Three leaves in and it is still changing. The lobes are changing, the pattern's changing, the length is changing. So I really want to see what it turns into. So the next plant is a hybrid and it's a hybrid that I haven't had yet and I had to have it because obviously hybrids, hybrids are cool as hell. I'm sorry, but hybrids are cool as hell. The next plant I have to show you is a hybrid of, wait for it, Anthurium forgetii and Anthurium regal. Check this out. This is what it looks like. It's definitely got the roundness at the top and a, a lack of lobe. There is a tiny, tiny bit of sinus here, but that's about it. You can see the forgetii in there because it's really ballooned at the top and then it thins out at the bottom. And obviously you can see the regal element because of the veining that is creeping in. 
This is a new leaf here that it was shipped to me with and it does have a hole in it, but I think you get the point. It's not hardened off yet. But if I just try and tip this, this is gonna be very difficult. I'll just hold this up to the camera and try and tip it. You can see more regal coming in there, I think. I think it becomes really obvious at that point. What a nice little hybrid though. Honestly, similar to the last plant I just showed you, it would be really interesting to see how this ends up when it gets going. I don't know what generation of hybrid this is or, or anything. So it's possible if someone else has a hybrid of these two plants, obviously, it's going to look very different. It really depends on how far down the generations that we are. And I do not know that information, but I can see both plants in there. And I do think it looks very, very beautiful. Look at that. That's definitely my favorite. It's not the newest leaf though. And I feel like we are getting more regal veining come through as the plant matures, which honestly you'd probably expect. Sorry, I really can't pull that out anymore because it's new and I don't want to screw with it anymore. It's a shame about the hole though, isn't it? What a shame. There is the other leaf looking honestly a little bit more crystalline and almost inspired. It's not quite forgetty eye. You can definitely see the forgetty eye in this one though, or at least I can personally, 100% I can see it in that. But there is another really interesting plant that I'd like to grow out because honestly, some of these hybrids you can get absolutely stunning, stunning plants. I really, really like them. I will say one thing though, and that is that this plant just doesn't quite feel how you'd expect. I would have expected this to feel a little bit more velvety than what it does, which is weird to me because I know forgetti eye are reasonably velvety and I know that Anthurium regal are also velvety, but this one just doesn't really feel it. It's kind of bizarre, not even suede-like. It just feels a little bit more rubbery. Maybe it's tougher. Maybe it's tougher. Two plants left and trust me, trust me when I say you want to stay for the last plant, trust me. Oh my goodness, I have two, they're that good, they're that good. So the second to last plant I have to show you is yet another hybrid. I'm into my hybrids. This one is not as strong as the last one. I would show you, I've just put it back down. But this plant here, let me try and tip it up, it's much smaller this one. Can I show you this leaf here? This is the newest leaf actually. This here, let me hold it up. This plant here is a hybrid of Forgetti Eye by Magnificum, and it is a lot more subtle. Honestly, I would say out of the hybrids I've brought in, this is my least favorite. It's always nice to have hybrids, obviously, especially if you're collecting Anthurium, but I feel like for me personally, I need a little bit more veining. So this has been brought in for the shop. Um, I've got a couple of these to basically test out if they die on me. You know the drill, you know how it goes. He is very nice, but he is very understated. Now you can clearly see the Forgetti Eye in that, judging by this lengthy lower portion of the leaf followed by a really really round portion of the leaf at the top. There is not much of a sinus in the top of that. The other one has more of a sinus. This is the thing with these plants. A lot of the time you really do just have to wait till they mature before you see the full characteristics of the plant because hybrid anthurium when they are growing from like seedling to like you know mid-size there's just a world of difference between the leaves. It's impossible to tell. It really is kind of a waiting game so with this one I don't know what's going to happen with the lobes. As I say this is the new newest leaf and oh, sorry I'm gonna have to keep covering my face this is the newest leaf and there is some lobe but not a lot we'll see what happens the veining of course is more muted because it is from Magnificum which is a much more muted plant than other plants if you want more of a, a stunning cross and you like your veining I would suggest a cross between Forgetti Eye and Crystallinum they are very beautiful plants very beautiful plants or even the Forgetti Eye by Regal that's a really nice one as well if you want more veining if you don't and you want some more understanding this is quite nice. Again, it's down to everyone's individual taste. Really, everyone's different. This isn't my favorite because I feel like I like my plants to either be really, really plain, like normal forgetty eye, just straight up plain, or like the dark form, or really, really veiny, like crystallinum. I don't necessarily like the in-between. But let me know what you think of this one. It's just, it's not my favorite. Don't know what else to say other than it's not my favorite. And it's nice. I just think some of the other ones I've shown you today so far are the favorite. Now I'm gonna have to prepare these last two plants and believe me, believe me, I'm about to add a plant to your wish list. I'm not even kidding, I'm about to add a plant to your wish list. Two seconds. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. 
This is one of the nicest anthurium ever. Now, I have two of these to show you. This is the same plant, all right? Let's try not to get too excited because th this is this is really exciting. This is one of the nicest anthuriums I've held up in a while. So my face is going to go a little bit giddy probably for a little bit. So these two plants are the same plant. They're just presenting a little bit differently. This one is a little bit more lobey, you could say. The gap in the sinus at the top there where the ears of the plant are is much larger. And this one here is a lot more queen-like. It's a lot more together. Now you're probably thinking I'm gonna have to just hold one because it's a little bit difficult. I'll leave the the lobes in frame there for you just so you can see the difference. So you're probably thinking what on earth is this? So it's not a queen anthurium. This is the thing. It is not a queen anthurium. Check it out though and let's just do a head test real quick because it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So this plant is very special and I've been wanting to get one of these for quite a long time. I think at least six months. I might have even wanted one before Christmas. I'm not sure. Basically, as soon as I saw one of these on the internet, I wanted one, but I've been on a little bit of a waiting list, you could say, to basically have them when they're ready. But this bad boy, oh my goodness. I'll not keep you any longer. You probably totally want to know what it is. This here, both of these plants here, are Anthurium Cyrenoi. I think that's how you pronounce it. The name is on the screen. And I need everyone to know about them because these are absolutely beautiful. And what I can automatically tell you, because I've had these a week, by the way, these leaves were shipped to me like this. Let us sink in for a second. These leaves were shipped to me like this and I've had these a week. And they still look this good. They are wonderfully plump. I don't know if you can tell. If I move the plant, you can probably see how plump it is. This one's just a bit wobbly in the pot, to be honest. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just a bit wobbly. But they are firm as heck. They've got no damage besides a tiny little bit on the tips of the leaves. And that's how they are. They aren't queens. I don't even think they're anything to do with a queen. Sorry, I'm just kind of trying to position this one back in its pot. It's very wobbly, that one. It's nothing to do with a queen, but if you want a queen and you want something tougher, I can guarantee you that this is tougher because I've had this a week and it looks like this. I get queens in and honestly, you might go three or four days max and they will start to turn yellow and not die, but the, you know, they'll turn into a stump. This has not happened with this. This is the most beautiful thing ever. I'm gonna shut the hell up and I'm gonna show you up close just how insane this plant is. Get a load of that. Honestly, get a load of that. That is a stunning, 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 stunning plant. I really like the veins on this as well. I really like the simplicity of it. It's very, very, very beautiful. It's very dark in colour. It does obviously remind me of a dark form Queen Anthurium. I think that's pretty fair to know and it's pretty fair to say, but it is definitely tougher. So I might have a new favourite plant and I don't blame you for adding this to your wish list. Full disclosure, I do have a few of these. They're not for sale anytime soon. This isn't me shilling the plant to you. I do have them, but I'm gonna be growing them for a while and propagating them and doing whatever I do. I really hope that this leaf stays like this because it's absolutely stunning, but I can't tell you too much about them, obviously. I can tell you that they've done fantastically when they've been shipped in and they've stayed pretty much how they probably went in the box. I think that's fair to say looking at this, but they are very, very gorgeous. I want to see what happens with the growth of this other boy here. Let me actually pick him up because I feel like we've given this one quite a lot of spotlight, but we have not given this one as much of a spotlight. So let me just steady his little stem. Yeah, he's different. Look, he has a much deeper sinus here and these lobes are much longer. That could be a one-off with this leaf or it could be a situation very similar to my Queen Anthurium situation. Now, if you follow my channel or, you know, the plants in my studio generally, you'll know that I have two Queen Anthurium dark forms and one presents very much like this and one presents very much like this. So these are definitely not for sale. I want to see how they grow because honestly, it is kind of a matter of taste and preference for what you prefer. Some people prefer closed sinus. Some people prefer handlebars. I kind of prefer handlebars. I like to call them handlebars. It's just a, a deeper sinus, essentially. I would actually like to know which one you prefer in the comments. So we'll make this one number one, handlebar boy, and we'll make this one number two, which is, we'll call him queen boy because he looks a lot like a queen. Let me know which style you prefer. Because for me, I, I do think this takes it because I just think it looks that a little bit more striking. And I think the veins lend themselves more to this leaf shape. That makes sense. But this one is equally beautiful. This one's absolutely gorgeous. I'm really not 
I'm not looking either. Have you seen these? Have you seen these? Let's get a thumbnail shot actually because these are ridiculous. Yeah, these are just so beautiful. I can't, I can't even. I did tell you the last plant would be worth it. Did I not? Did I not? I, I, I don't, I don't like to muck you guys around. This is the best one. This is the best one. Second to that, honestly, is this boy because I do think if I now bring this one back, yes, it's lighter in color. You do get some of the, the vibes of this. Obviously, no, it's not the same plant. I'm not saying it is, but this one is a lot more probably yes affordable because I can't remember how much these cost me but it wasn't cheap these ones are definitely probably more affordable but you know there are they are easier to care for if you struggle with that kind of thing if you struggle with your anthuriums this is a nice middle mark to go for and feel because it's not super glossy and it is more matte I'm gonna call it matte one last time for the camera because it's so beautiful this here is Anthurium Cyrenoi. I do believe that's how you pronounce it. What a plant, guys. What a plant. What a beautiful plant. This is my new favorite. I think we can all agree this needs to be my new favorite. Thank you very much for watching this week. Please leave your opinions down below on any of these plants. I suspect these plants may be mentioned a little bit. A little bit, I think that's fair to say. And I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you very much, guys. I will see you next week. Bye.